So these are the Supreme 98s that I picked up last vlog for my brother. These things are super clean and size 8 for him. They look really, really nice. Honestly, I wish it was an 8 and a half. <laughs> I would get myself a pair, but these are sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A short story. Oh, this is the best drink ever. Yeah, we're, gate recommend. we're gatekeeping it. No moving the oh, thumb. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, no moving the thumb. Sorry. But this shit is fucking crazy. What is up guys so this is going to be the second part of the video and it will be me unboxing and showing you guys some sneakers that i have picked up recently for the spring um i've been doing a little bit of shopping and looking around for sneakers for spring i feel like i need maybe one more pair of sneakers for spring so let's get straight into it and you can see straight off the bat we have a new balance here let's open up the box check it out what it is and it is the New Balance 2002R Basement Collab. This is in the white and gray colorway. Um, they recently did a restock for these, I think about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. I didn't get them. And I actually have a friend out in Montreal who had a pair. And I did a little bit of a trade with him. Um, I believe there is three colorways. So this is the white and gray. Then there's a green and then a brown, I believe. And then... Recently, I've been seeing um, a friends and family pair that's been surfacing around. I don't know if that's of recent, but I just figured out that that's actually a thing. Um, those are really nice as well. But yeah, for the trade, if you guys were curious, I did do um, 150 cash I gave him. Uh, my Lionel Messi jersey that was from this World Cup, brand new in the bag. Um, and an Architerix beanie as well. So that was the trade that we did. Both of us were happy with it. Um, I'm extremely happy with the sneakers. I kind of wanted these for a little while now, about two months. Finally found my size and we worked out a deal that we both liked. And yeah, that's basically that. Um, I'm going to try to keep these in good shape for the next month or two because I want us to really start wearing these with shorts when the weather starts to get a bit better. And here in Canada, it's still snowing and shit. It's horrible, honestly, the weather sometimes. So I need to keep these on ice for a little bit before I can actually wear them. But the sneaker has this suede here on the toe box and on the side. Um, there's nothing really too crazy about it. It's honestly a very basic sneaker. Um, I had one pair of 2002 R's about a year and a half ago in 2021, I think it was. I had the black protection pack when those first came out. And I ended up selling them because, um, I don't know, I just wasn't too much of a fan of them. I wore them for a couple of months and then I was like, I don't really want these anymore. But since I saw these when they came out, I was like, I should probably get my hands on these. Um, spring is probably the best time to wear white shoes. So I'm thinking just shorts, honestly, with these. Um, and yeah, I don't know what more to really say about these guys. They come with two extra laces. Um, I'll show you guys here. There's a black and then there's a gray pair of laces in there. And then there's just like white laces on the shoe. You can see the basement on the tongue. And then it also says the basement on like the heel tab over there or on the heel of the sneaker. Very nice, just a clean, simple silhouette that you can put on every day. New Balances are like the most comfortable shoes you could possibly wear. So again, great to wear every day in the summer. And I can't wait to start to wear these. Next sneaker, it's coming out of the box. Are you can probably tell if you don't know from the box, these are 
Lost and Founds. Um, this is the one shoe last year that I didn't get. And I was so pissed off that I didn't get it. I was so salty when I took a L on these. This shoe is amazing. Chicago is my favorite colorway for a Jordan 1. And I recently got these. Shout out to my girlfriend. She gave me these for Valentine's Day. It's the best gift I've ever received. This is insane. Um, I was so hyped. As soon as I opened like the box, I knew it was Lost and Found. I saw the shoe box and I was like, holy crap. Like, I can't believe she got me these. They are so good. The leather that Jordan Brand actually used on this pair is fantastic. It is really, really good. I'm honest, because I have the 2015 pairs as well. And I'm honestly debating, thinking that this leather is better than the 2015 leather. Um, but yeah, this shoe is amazing. The amount of details that Jordan Brand did on this shoe, I think is incredible. It looks great. Looks just like an 85. It's not the OG 85 cut, but a lot of the OG 85 ones that come out as of recently, like Georgetown, the black and whites that just came out, I think a week or two weeks ago, the cut on it sucks. So I think Jordan Brand made these perfectly. Things that come down to like even the box, I'll show you guys. Is fucking like amazing out of this world so so cool i think like how kind of resembles you can see it says sale sale there and it just resembles like a box that you literally lost and that you found from 85 when you first originally purchased like chicago ones and then the box lid uh, has like a regular top to it so as you can see nike air here and then the bottom half of the box like a normal jordan one box which i think is super super cool and then a little um, thing that they added on. I don't know if a lot of people noticed this. I'm sure sneakerheads and like people or sneaker enthusiasts and whatnot noticed. Um, they did also give you like a little fake receipt as like you were to buy the shoe in 85 from a small mom and pop sneaker store. And I believe that the names on here, like on this receipt are actually like a tribute to uh, Nike and Jordan employees that contributed to this shoe. And it's just like kind of like a, Thank you to them. So, which I think is like amazing. I love little things like that. It makes the whole sneaker that much more special. Um, and it makes me want to go out and purchase something like that. I love it when something tells a story. So yeah, these are them, the lost and founds, as I showed for like the millionth time. I love these, these are amazing. I'm so happy I got these. Thank you again to my girlfriend. She is the fucking best. And I think that is that. Um, nothing really more else to say. I'm probably gonna do a pickups video sometime soon of just like random things I picked up recently and just go more in depth into it. I'll show you guys how it looks on body and everything. But yeah, um, if there's anything you guys wanna see, any sort of content, just let me know. Tell me in the comments and I'll make content accordingly. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and enjoy this video. Peace.